Hey you, welcome to Wasted Audio. Today we're going to have a look at the patch in it and how you can turn your PD patches into a custom CV controlled modular synth voice. If you haven't watched our previous video on programming the DAISY using Hot Data, you should definitely watch this video first. The patch in it is based on the Electrosmith patch submodule and includes stereo audio inputs, four knobs, a switch, button, LED, and a number of CV and gate AO. With this, you can create your own custom Eurorack modules. So, let's start making a patch to program onto the patch in it. I've already prepared this basic synth patch that has a pitch CV control, filter cutoff controls, an envelope gate input, and attack and decay controls. So here you can see the main pitch CV input. First, because the parameter input is of the control type, we get a new value every audio cycle. So we'll do a little bit of smoothing and turn it into a signal using the line object. We multiply it by five because the actual range of the CV input is from zero to five volts. Then we take two to the power of this voltage, which gives us an exponential curve. And we multiply it by our base frequency, which right now it's uh, C4 or middle C. And finally, this becomes our frequency that goes into a saw oscillator. Then here we have our filter cutoff that just for convenience, I turn it into a frequency. And also we add some smoothing to turn it into a line and goes into our low pass filter. Then our envelope has a trigger. So here we see that the gate in one has the additional trigger input. So it will only give a bang every time a trigger comes in. And we have our attack and decay controls that are all packed into this message that goes into the heavy V-line object, which is a kind of emulation of the V-line that's normally in PD Vanilla, but it's currently not in the heavy set of objects. And because the V-line takes milliseconds, our total range of the controls is a thousand milliseconds or one second. And this all goes into this amplifier. So in this little modular case, I have here a DOI version of the patch in it using a custom panel design, but otherwise it's fully identical to the store-bought version. Shout out to JMC64 from Discord for their spare PCB and panel without which I couldn't have built this. So we have a clock going into the TTLFO, which is controlling the VCSQ2 that is doing a little sequence of CV, which is going into the Penrose quantizer in order to have uh, defined voltages for the pitch. And then it's going into the CV5 input. And here we have the B10 gate input. And then right now we just have a stereo output going into the startup module. So let's see. Of course we have our filter control. It's very clicky when it's very short, so. With a bit of reverb, it sounds even better. To make things more interesting, I've added this little drum patch. Shout out to Mike Moreno and check out his video on how this actually works. But basically we have a kick drum, a snare drum and a hi-hat. And it's all controlled by this random sequence that gets reset every eight steps. So we receive again a gate input. And right now I'm using a timer to control our metro probably use the gate more directly but I wanted to use this time for another feature that I'll show in a minute. So let's connect this up and program this onto our daisy. So we press the reset and the boot button and now it's waiting to be programmed.
now we need to add a clock signal into the patch init again. And we see here that the LED connected to CVO2 is also flashing with the gate signal. And now Finally, I wanted to add a little bit more movement. So there's a bit, a little delay circuit that basically gets synchronized together with our drums. So let's program that. started making your own custom modular voice using plug data. Let us know in the comments what other ideas you have for custom modules or other projects with the heavy compiler and what kind of subjects you want us to cover in the future. If you want to support the channel and our efforts with the heavy compiler, you can buy our plugins that were actually created using this setup. Because of our one year anniversary, they're actually up to 66% off this month. Or you can become a GitHub sponsor or a Patreon member. A shout out to everyone that's already supporting the channel. If you're going to Superboot this year, try and find me. I have stickers. Alright, see you soon and take care. <laughs>